Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, if you clicked on this video, then you're about to see the backstory behind how me and our mentee be started a collab video. It's actually kind of a fun story, and it's kind of a stressful one for me. It's gonna be a little backstory, because I wanted to I wanted to like tell people like how it happened and how exactly it got there. Now, so this all happened yesterday. Um that day I was like, I'm gonna fix my sleeping schedule. I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna get the day started. So I uh mm, I got up and I sat down and then I started like pr procrastinating on YouTube and Discord and stuff, started texting some people. Um eventually I got up and went to sit down in the living room and watch some TV after getting a little snack. So as I'm doing that, I check my phone and I see a message from a very familiar profile picture the amazing red hair and the beautiful fedora with the sunglasses yeah you know him uh i saw a message from that profile picture i was like i recognize that is that who i think it is so i clicked on it and uh it was our mentee uh there was no message there and i was like yo what we <laughs> and he basically asked me um what are the five best lumians for uh, battling water types you can see it in his video um and then i i went on to tell him zulong tatab chartiki and maomurk and lubanami uh those are those were those of them i think that was them there were these five these five lumens are really good for taking on water types um i actually subbed out lumenami i actually subbed out uh festifer for lumenami because um i was thinking like uh, Festiver's only good melee plant move is timber, is not timber thatch. It's gonna get timber thatch eventually. But it's bushwhack. And I was like, no, I'd rather that not be what it uses. So then I subbed it out for Luminami. Um, after that, he was like, alright, thank you. And then he said he was making a video on it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Hope you have fun making your video. And then he tells me we can make a set on them. And I was like, huh? And he's like, eh. and he'd make it a video if you wanted to. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I was like, huh <laughs> and um and i was like and i was like oh sure i can do that because honestly i had no idea what i was gonna do that morning and i was like all right this is a fun little challenge and i was like i'm a decent set maker um but most of the sets i showcase aren't what you should use and i'm gonna start putting like little disclaimers at the very beginning of the videos um but yeah um so he told me i can make sets around them and then he could be we could showcase them in a video and i was like oh sure let's do it um and so then i got to work making these sets you can see right here it all started with melee melee luminami or melee ami whichever one you want to call it now this one was really fun to make um because i had personally never made a melee ami but i was excited to try to make one now here you go if you would like to like uh pause and read up on all my things i will stop like on like all of them i'll put it like right up here if you'd like to read all of them there you go but it all started with melee luminami and i was like what can i do with the melee luminami and i was like well it should be able to survive any one hit and because it has because mm, it has power napper it's really good for longevity and chip damage over time in battle and because of its monstrous hp stat i was like all right i'll make a melee ami because it has a lot more coverage than a normal luminami so then I started, I started to make one, as you can see, I explained like how it works, the reasoning behind I made this, um, and that one, that one was a really fun one to make, because uh, I, I personally never made one, and I wanted these to be really out of the box, like, that you wouldn't see a lot of people use, but it would actually work in PvP. Like, this melee army can definitely work in PvP. There's also, I made a mixed tatab, um, with Awakening, of course, you need Awakening. Um, smart brawny, very foolish, or very tender. It really depends on, like, your preference, basically. I'm not gonna go rambling on about it, but basically, I wanted them to be really, really unique. I really want- I wanted them to be extremely unique, something that not a lot of people would see, because I'd be getting harassed about, uh, my sets and a lot of other things. Um, and I thought, he's doing this, and this is my chance to show everybody that I know how to PvP and how to make sets. And honestly, I think that- they worked. They worked really well. I even used them after the video in, in like competitive battles. 
won every single one of them. Tatab came really came in clutch, taking down a Tyrex and a Ventation. It was awesome because the Ventation came in thinking to wall it, and I killed it. And that's the fun thing about all of them is that you you would expect a Meliami, you would expect a Bardo Chartiki, you would expect a very nimble Zulong, but you wouldn't expect a mixed Tatab with Nature's Force, and you wouldn't expect a smart, clever Swampy with Life Drain. Now I'm I did like this. This is so you can lower their range defense and just hit hard basically. Why did I do that? Stop, mouse, hit move. There we go. There we go. Um, and yeah, so I got to work making all the sets. I was I sat down for two hours, typing them all down, calculating damage, doing all of that stuff. Um, and if you look closely, look at the dates on all these Lumians. Besides Tartiki, this was an old one that I had. Um, <laughs> I had to rally all of those in a single day. <laughs> yep, a single day I had to rally an SA and four other PvPs and I had to make all of them. And I had to calculate all the sets, take to own my own custom stuff. I had to do all that and I had to level them up. It, it took a lot of work and it was really exhausting. Because like, it wasn't like physically exhausting, it was like mentally exhausting because I had to like calculate everything. It, it was exhausting for me. But I... Then, when it got to the recording part, oh man, that was really fun. <laughs> Armenti's a really cool guy, and he's really fun to record with. Um, and we showed that those, that these five Lumians that you see right here are the best Lumians that you want to use if you're going to take on Atlantean City. Now, yeah, the short story is, Armenti DM'd me, asking me where the best Lumians are. Eventually, it got into me making sets for them, and then he was like, do you want to be? In, do you, you want to make a video? Or I asked, or I think, I think it was me that asked if if I could we could like showcase it and then do two v two and yeah that's kind of where it went and it was it was really fun it was really enjoyable to do because it was just fun because I was able to showcase my own custom stuff like my own stuff that I made but yeah other than that that was kind of the gist of the like the background of what I went through. When I was making them, I was very stressed, but I did it, and it was really, really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It is helpful, I think. I don't exactly know what it does, but yes. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!